So, so let's, let's, let's pick up on that then. Even how do you and Hardy link up then? Um, this is like June. I actually remember, um, it's like June 2016. He liked one tune that I did that um, wasn't a big tune, but I made the beat. He liked, he really liked the beat. And he tweeted me one time and I was like, okay, cool. And as soon as he tweeted me, it's almost like, you know, as soon as you, you're aware of something, mm -hmm. so I'm, I, see a, I see a freestyle, I see a next freestyle, I see a next freestyle on YouTube. It's like, YouTube started recommending like Hardy Capri all the time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was so weird, but it's like, there was just so much stuff. And I was like, bro, what kind of work rate does this guy have? Mm. Like, and it's all like hitting, it's all hitting views that I'm thinking, this is more than the average like MC gets, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I'm thinking, is no one noticing that this guy's like <laughs> going in? Like he's going mad in. Like he, this guy, he told me he did 30 videos in like four months or some shit like that. Like some stuff like that. Like yeah. he, like his work rate was crazy. As soon as he tweeted me, I just started noticing. And then um, whatever, what happened? Then after that, it was like a month later, he was just like, yo man, you're sick. And I was like, bro, you're sick as well, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And then. He phoned me when I was in the barbers and we were just talking and he just, there's certain things he said that let, just, it just let me knew, know where he's like, he was just very strategic, he was very smart, he knew what he wanted to do. And it's almost like he had a specific path he wanted to take to get to where he is now. And I'm the type of person, I'm, I don't really plan things out, I just work on the music and I just mm -hmm. hope, do you know what I'm saying? And obviously I've got more strategic just by hanging around him. Mm. So in my head it's almost like, with me and Hardy, we, all, we always acknowledge that he's trying to learn how to make better music from me. And I was try, trying to learn how to like find a way to navigate my, from him because he's very strategic. So we yeah. both knew we kind of needed each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I need you and you kind of need me. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. And, and, and that's because, again, bro, like, when you start off, like, we don't all have a team, you know? Nah, like, yeah. It's, all, it's always yeah. good to say, yeah, no, I've got my, my, my PA, my manager, my this, yeah. my that, my team, my team. But sometimes, bro, you, you realise it's just... It's just it's you. Just you one. It's just you in the field. It's just... <laughs> just you, bro. And you live and die by your own sword and you just need someone who can bounce off ideas, man. Yeah. So that's amazing. So you guys start working together. Yeah. And then when does the buzz really pick up for you personally? For me personally, um... So with Hardy, we, we, would, we just ended up being friends after that. We didn't even really go to, I went to his couple of his studio sessions. He used to invite me to studio sessions all the time, but I'm just like, I'm just a hard person to deal with, to be honest. <laughs> so I didn't go, I went sometimes, but I wanted to just know him. I didn't, I don't want to make tunes with people that I don't really know, do you know what I'm saying? So that was that. We made a song called Rolling, and that was just on hold for a second. And then 2017, that was like my, I gave myself one more year to do, well, six months, really? to, to be specific, yeah. I said, I'm going to give myself six more months and I'm going to do a video every month for six months. And if nothing happens by the six month, then I'm, I'll feel okay to say, you know what, I no, tried my hardest, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I did um, a song, I did a freestyle, no one cared about that one, so I just deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, yeah, when something don't go right, I just, Delete it. It just comes off the path. I just erase the path. I have. I just, wait, 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 wait. Let me just quickly pick up that. Is it because you're looking at the views to validate whether it's? Yeah, it was partly views. I'm not yeah, going to pretend yeah. like it. It was like it just. Everyone was like, ah, yeah, it's cool, but nothing. Really it, it didn't change. It didn't change. The yes, energy. and then yeah. I dropped a song called Pattern. Then as soon as I dropped that song, things kind of started. I saw like a like a slight shift. Everyone was like, hey, <laughs> hmm. You know what I'm saying? I started talking to like people that I didn't think I'd talk yeah. to, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting some label interest or whatever. Um, then I dropped a song. Then I dropped Rolling with Hardy. Then that, obviously that was my first video ever that hit 100K views. So then I'm, I'm like, okay. You're in there. Something's happening, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's happening. What's that exactly? But there's definitely a bit of movement. I dropped a song called Basically. Then I got like, I didn't get playlisted, but it got played on radio a couple of times. The song with Hardy, the first time I got played on radio, then my song called Basically got a certain amount of views, like maybe like 50k views in like two weeks. I'm thinking, wow. this is by myself as well. This is not even with Hardy. All right, cool. Then the next month after, I think I skipped one month. I didn't do something for one month. Then the next month after, we did the unsigned one in June, June 11th. Then, yeah. You, you that was a six month, by the way. I mean, you spoke about like, 
Do you go? Do you still go to church, or do you? you but you've been. Mm, nah. you, yeah, you I grew used to up go in a church. church yeah. Right? When these things happen, yeah, like when you give yourself a certain amount of time, like, and it's almost like you're manifesting your path. Like, mm. how much did you like? If you did at all, did you pray or just think like, like God, just let me get into this game? No, I was definitely praying, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what got into me. I don't know what I was on, but it's just like something was just. just Changed. Like I bought a whiteboard and I wrote down everything I wanted. Vision board. Yeah, I just started writing down everything I wanted to happen. Yeah. But the reason why I didn't, I didn't write down in a book. But the reason why I wanted it to be on a whiteboard, so every time someone comes to my room, they know exactly what I'm trying to do. So now I'm the type of person I don't wanna, I don't want you to know what I'm trying to do and I don't do it. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So now everyone's like, you wanna do this? You're, you're trying to get a million views. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this. And then. I bought a car that I couldn't afford. I told my friend, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get about next year. So, I don't, I don't know why I said that, do you know what I'm saying? I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna be busy next year. So I need a car to drive around, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I just didn't bear like stuff You're that You're playing catch know. up though, isn't it, in a way? In a way. I was just, I don't know, it's like, I was almost telling myself, this has to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. I, I got, bro, I bought, like, an, an, I bought a vision board, mm. like, a month ago. It's, it's in my yard. Mm. I was like, 100%. That's one thing I've never done is a vision board, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, I just got to write things I down. never had plans. Remember, I said I, I, I wasn't a planning person. No, I, feel I just used way. to just live, you know what I'm saying? But and see where things take down, you. Yeah. And then assess it from there. Yeah. But when I started putting down, I need to do a video every month. So then my focus just said, all right, this month, January, I need to get this video done. So the whole of January, I need to find a way to get I didn't have not. I didn't really have money like that. So I need to find a way to just to make this video get done somehow. Mm. That was the whole, the whole month I'm running around trying to do this. And it seems like it's a big deal, but it's like, that's, that's all I had, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? So I had to take it seriously. Um, I mean, I guess we can still continue with that, but I mean, like, with Vice Versa, yeah. is, is that the song that you felt, pers I mean, okay, let me not say it's, it's, it's giving you the, greatest change in your circumstance, but it's, is it the song that's given you the most plaudits as an artist so far? Yeah, I think that's fair to say, yeah, 100%. The rapping part of it though, where do we look at it? Is it singing now? Is it rapping? <sighs> but I, I guess people would class it as singing because people call me an R&B singer. I don't necessarily think I am, but I understand why they say that, because it's not. It's not rapping at all, to be fair. I mean, are you going to go back to rapping again? Or do you miss rapping at all? Yeah, I feel like as a rapper, you can just say things in a different... As a singer, you have to work around melodies and like rhythms. And mm -hmm. as a rapper, you can just go off sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But I think my voice is just better. I can channel like everything better through singing, I guess. So I guess I'll just stick to that. But I'm definitely not going to not rap. Like, I'm not going to not, not like... If I do an album, you're like you're the death will be. Yeah. But only when it's really, I feel like, yeah, I need to rap now. And in terms of like the process between writing, like, do, are you just going into the studio, just like, like freestyling melodies and just yeah, humming? Yeah, some, sometimes I do that. Sometimes, sometimes I have a word, like vice versa. I liked, I just liked the, um, what would you call that? I liked that phrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was thinking about that like, a couple of weeks before, like just vice versa. It's just, and I was thinking, has anyone made a song called Vice Versa? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't think anyone has. Mm. But I'm thinking that's a good like concept. Let, let's let's get into vice versa. And so, when did you actually first <coughs> um, conceptualize it? Uh, like I said, I was thinking about just the words, and then um, I was working on what was supposed to be my single. And then we ended up making just a random loop. When I say we, I mean me and Call, call Me The Kid as a producer, that's like my best friend as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we just ended up making it like a loop. Then we just made that song on the spot. I had the chorus and I had a verse. And we left it there because I didn't know what to do after. That was maybe like October or something. Or last year? Yeah. Okay. And then what happened? I had a session with Progression Producer, very good producer. Shout out to Progression. Yeah, if pe people don't know, it's Hailey's older Hailey, brother. Yeah, yeah. And then he cancelled, but then he called back and he said, do you want to do a session with Hailey instead? And I was thinking in my head, yeah, Hailey's sick, do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it wasn't even to do with Vice Versa, it was just to make a new tune. Mm -hmm. I think we was playing around with some stuff. 
it wasn't, I guess it wasn't really popping. And I was just thinking, you should just jump, jump. I'm random, like, I'm like, you should jump on my tube, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, cool Louie, man, cool Louie, where is he? He's like, he's around the corner. Then <laughs> I played him, high, high, I played highly. They were like, obviously progression, I, I, I rate him a lot, I rate highly. So when people are like that, I like. Yeah, and they're music men, bro. Yeah, they're proper music people in it. So they're like, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, jump with it, jump with it, jump with <laughs> it. Then highly was doing his bit and I watched Louie do his bit. They just did it like right in front of me, mm -hmm. just on that day. And I was struggling with the second verse anyway, so I just said, yeah, let's let's get a feature. So so by the time they heard it, you just had like the verse? Yeah, my verse, the chorus, <coughs> and yeah, that's it. My verse and the chorus and, and the beat, that's it. Now this is my thing, yeah, like, was it that you thought that you can make just like something fresh, but did you not know at that point that vice versa, this tune? <laughs> nah. You didn't know nah. what it was? No, nah, like, obviously, Call Me The Kid, he's the type of guy that he's like, this is the tune. And he's probably never been wrong about a tune, ever. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So from, from I did my bit, he's like, this is the tune. He's like, this is world class. That's what you're saying. <laughs> this is world class. <laughs> and I don't like to, I don't want to, I don't want to be one of them artists that I get lost in my own tune and I start thinking it's better than it actually is. Mm -hmm. So I always step back and I'm like, just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but then when Hailey jumped in it and when Louis jumped in it, I started listening to it like, this is a good tune, man. Because it was my favourite tune before it came out. For real? Yeah, my favourite tune at that time was Western Ben Over and then vice versa. Those, I was listening to those two tunes for like two weeks. Just those two. Bro, me too, you know, I put that on my playlist, those tunes. But I mean, just like, I didn't listen to nothing else. Oh, so you were just privately listening to it? Yeah, I'm just privately yeah, listening to it. Yeah, because yeah. I really like my tune, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't usually like to be listening to my own tune like that, but well, okay. So, tune. What, what's what's the um, tune's big? But what are you? It may sound like self-explanatory. What are you actually talking about on a record? It's kind of like um, I just had a situation with a girl, and it was like I felt like I was doing more for her than she would do. I felt like I was going more out of my way for her than she would for me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like we should be on the same page, like vice versa. Whatever I would do for you, you should yeah. you should want to do for me, do you know what I'm saying? Like, if I would drive down the motorway to come see you at some mad time, I would want you to do that for me as well, do you know what I'm saying? So it's just, yeah. Yeah, those things also like, um, you don't want to feel like you're overcompensating yeah. for their lack of... Yeah, I don't want to feel like I'm just doing too much and you're not really that interested. And as a man's pride, you'd be like, thinking like, oh, my dick. Yeah. Like, like would, she, would she do that? If it was another guy, would she do? Yeah, like, and you know what it is? With, with women, you know, like, they're caring as well, innit? So, yeah. like, when this girl wasn't, like, doing stuff that... <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know if she likes me, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she's not doing, like, simple things like, yo, come see me. No, I'm thinking, what? Like, I come see you, like, four times in a row now. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's crazy. Was she driving? Nah, she wasn't driving, but that was her excuse. Because you can get on the train. <laughs> you can get on the train. Or just even just show that like, for once. Yeah, just show some effort. Or like, meet me halfway or something. Just say, yo, I'm going to get on the train to her. Mm. Then come pick me up from her. She wants to come all the way to her house. Get her from her house. And just, <laughs> nah. oh, That's my funny. God. Yeah, man. Did she know this about her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, did she <laughs> yeah. call you up? No, nah, she was like, it's a good tune, still, it's a good tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good tune. That's funny. Hey, shout out to her, man. The type of person I am, yeah, like, anything I'm feeling, like, deeply in the moment, mm -hmm. it always comes out in the tune, somewhere. Yeah. Like, I can't feel something for long, and it doesn't come out in the tune. Yeah. Let me ask you, so, um, in terms of, um, like, some of the unreleased music, um, like, sometimes I ask artists, like, what's their deepest song that they may have made. Um, what would you say in songs that have come out is like the deepest song that you've made and why? Mm. Mm. I guess out of the songs that people would have heard, it would either be Vice Versa or there's a song on my Spotify called Make You Crazy. That, 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 that probably one of those two. No, I ain't heard that. What's that, what's that one saying? It's like, it's like a tune, it's like a tune I did in uh, 2016, so it's like, not everyone has heard it, do you know what I'm saying? So, let me pause you right there, um, do you know, do you remember the lyrics word for word? Yeah. Could um, you do like, almost like a, a breakdown? Oh, man. 
it was like, she says she loved me, but she don't love this no more. When I heard those words, I didn't want to live no more. Please, please believe me, I won't treat you like sh no more. Don't tear me apart, because my heart can't split no more. I think about you like every day. I know, you, I know we ain't never been great. Apart from the D, you're like my best friend, but if you leave me, we can never be mates. And I don't want to lose friends, sentimental things, even though everything comes to an end. And then, yeah, it's just like, I was just going through a breakup. That's what I'm saying. It, I can't do something without it coming. So I was going through a breakup, and it's just like, obviously, we make each other mad in it, but mm. obviously, we must love each other mm. at the same time. So it's just, yeah, that or vice versa. Now, when, you, when you listen to those songs, it, it's almost like audio diaries of you knowing where you were in yeah. different stages. In your yeah, life. That's, like, that's like exactly where, like, yeah. as soon as I heard the song, I know exactly what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, is, is that recording process ever difficult? Or does it just come out like naturally? Like, is it? I mean, and I'm sure you probably, you know, you're taking stock of your feelings, but to have to actually relive it and bring it out for the whole world to hear, is, mm. is, is that's almost you're sharing a bit of your soul, as they say. Yeah. Um, weirdly enough, those are the easier songs for me. Like, I find myself, I can, I can express myself better in music than I can just talking to people. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So those are the easier songs. It's usually the songs where, like a song like Unsigned, that chorus. It's a harder chorus for me to do because it's not like I was feeling any sort of way. I just needed to make a good chorus. Just being creative. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when it's just being creative, that I find that harder to do than just saying how I feel. Mm -hmm. I can say how I feel very, it's very easy. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you, and you, you seem like you own it, bro. Like you own yeah, it. You just, <clears throat> I don't know, because I just, I know that that's, that is, that's realistic, isn't it? Like, when it, if, you, if you tell me to just make a song about something that, like, it's hard, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. But if you tell me, yo, how you feeling, and I knew how I was feeling, I could make a song about it. Yeah, man, that's sick, man. Um, how do you, okay, then it's something that, because as you, you being a thinker, how do you now get to understand what your worth is? Because mm. you're hot now. Mm. <clears throat> well, people people know, like, people you can put up, know who I am, yeah, yeah, you can put up a picture, gonna get five, ten thousand likes, like, do you know what I mean? Like, nah, not ten thousand, not yet. It's like around eight, it's around <laughs> nah, eight. Nah, no, no, maybe bro, five. Eight, six, nah, bro, I saw you got someone that's eight. Maybe on someone else's, not my, my Insta ain't profit like that. But you don't really, you're like a minimalist, bro. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to be out, I'm trying to be out. That's what I'm saying, I'm doing interviews. Yeah, Because I feel like people need to, it's cool to like have, because I want to let the music do the talking, and it's cool to let the music do the talking, but I feel like people people might actually want to know who you are, and when they know who you are, it's not just music now, it's like I like him as a person. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I haven't given people the chance to even like know who I am. Like, that's, like I said, people don't know where I'm from. Yeah. They don't know how I got into him. Like, so I'm trying to not be a minimalist now. But I think, you know what it is, like, just even hearing you speak and what I've understood, bro, is that this thing's quite serious for you. Yeah. So I don't think you'd be someone who'd want to just say, hey, guys, I make music, mm. and not know that this is a serious thing. You'd rather just, like, you know, like, once, once it gets to a certain level and yeah. that makes it serious, yeah. then I can Then I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Because it's like, you know when people say, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the music thing now? <laughs> like, that always Everyone's doing the music thing, Yeah, that always used to kind of irk me because it's like, it's not a thing to me. It's not just a thing that I just said, ah, oh, yeah, I tried this one day. Like, that was the main thing from the beginning. And I felt like, I still feel like for like musicians like me, that from the beginning, that's what they want to do. It's, it's almost like it's kind of harder. Cause you like, you overthink it and everything has to be perfect. Whereas someone that don't really care as much, they're just, they're just having fun, yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes having fun, if that's the best way to like make a good tune or a big tune, you're just mm -hmm. having fun, you're just messing mm -hmm. about, you're not really thinking about it. But with me, everything has to be perfect. And it's like, maybe that's why it takes longer, I don't know. Yeah, but you, and like I said, you've made a lot of sacrifices. Like, it's almost at a point where you've, you've limited all your options to the yeah. fact that it has to be this. And if it ain't that, then, yeah. boy, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna it's be. It's like, get rich or that try kind <laughs> of thing. 100%. Um, kind of rounding up, like, how does, how does, how does your mum, like, take to things now? Now? That's funny. Um, before, let's say when this thing started picking up, she was just like, she was like, cause she once she was she used to be like, oh, you're just always in your, cause I was just in my room. I didn't have a job at one point. It's like you're always in your room. You need to get a job. You need to be a lawyer. You need to do. And I'm thinking, my thing was, why a lawyer? Because 
it's not even like I'm good at that. It's like you just you just throwing something in the air. Like I just need to be this. And then she's like, you need to leave your house. You need to do something. You need to get a job. And then um, when I started doing shows, she was like, oh, you're doing a lot of shows recently. She's like, are you getting paid? I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's not that much though. Da, 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 da. Then now she's like. I can hear her downstairs just talking to her friends, like, yeah, he's going to a show. Da, 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 da. She's like, yeah, he's got one million subscribers. I'm like, it's not one million subscribers, <laughs> it's one million views. Bless her. I'm like, if I had one million subscribers, you know, <laughs> you know what I'd be? But yeah, she's telling her friends, and I, she's come, but one time I'm hearing vice versa. It's like three in the morning. I'm hearing it, and it's like, where is this coming from? I'm thinking, is it playing on my phone? Like, and I'm hearing it. I'm thinking, is my sister playing it? Because my mum watching Vice Versa at 3 a.m. She's just back to back to back to back to back. And I walk past her room and she's awake. Like, it's not even like she just left it on. She's awake just watching it. Hey, that's beautiful. I'm thinking, what is... Now she, and she's coming in the house, Vice Versa, Vice Versa. <laughs> she knows all the words. It's funny still. Sick, man. Yeah, yeah. sick, man. That's dope, man. But, that's uh... so sick, man. Nah, bro, it's amazing, man. That's, and, uh, and again, we come from, like, you know, our Nigerian mothers, man. Yeah. They're hard with you, bro. Because mm. they know that you're going to be, God willing, someone else's fa mm. father, someone else's husband. And they sometimes be like, look, I want you to be better than your father, to be able to... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's always that pressure. And, um, yeah. Yeah, man, that's sick. But, um, but then now, how do you know, like, my last couple of questions, how do you now know your worth, that you're kind of new in the game, but there's probably a lot of things coming thrown your way? How do you mm. now step back and try and get to know what your worth is in the game? Hmm. It's a hard question, because it's like... I try and be realistic. Like, everything in my life, I try and be as realistic with myself as possible. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want to think I'm bigger than I am. And I don't want to... If anything, I tell myself I'm not as big as I probably actually am in real life. But, I don't know, man. It's just like, some things... It's weird because I don't I don't know I, I actually don't know how to answer that question because sometimes mm. I feel like I should have got more for that show, mm. but then I'm thinking, oh maybe I shouldn't have I don't know do you know what I'm saying, and then sometimes I think I'm at a show and I see a, another show on on Instagram I'm thinking should have been there wow why am I not at shows like yeah. that do you know what I'm saying, mm. but then I'm just like. I just tell myself, bruv, you gotta make another banger then. You gotta make another hit, you gotta make another song that people can't live without. Like, if you wanna get there, it's almost like I was gonna be the, I wanted to be the person that I'm gonna make so many good songs. This is my last, this was my last option. I thought, I'm just gonna be the guy that makes so many good songs that by the time everyone looks back, they're gonna be like, why did we get paid that good? <laughs> like, why, what? Where did he, what was he doing this whole time? Like, do you know what I'm saying? I'll, so I just need, I just want to make good songs, good songs, good songs, and then hopefully everything I want finds its way to me. Cause I can't, I can't just be out there just chasing bigger things and bigger, bigger, bigger. I just be chasing for time. Yeah. Hopefully I just want to do what I do and just make songs that just have, make songs that make things come to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. 100%.